Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing a game I found on Steam called Blameless. You're playing the role of an architect trying to investigate strange happenings after discovering evidence of an act of violence. Let's get into it. I'm an architect, freelance, so I take job offers as they arise. So when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who can do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply, because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain, and at first glance it seemed like brick dust. But then I realized it was blood, spilled on the floor. I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured, so... I turned to tell the man. That's when I saw his hand raised to hit me. He was holding a metal rod. Before I could defend myself, he hit me in the head. I must have passed out. I don't know how long I was out. <sighs> when I woke up... This blood stain does not look like it's the result of a banal injury. The phone is smashed. No way it's gonna work anytime soon. can't get further through here. might be able to get further through the attic. <laughs> the 
It's slipping. I can't turn it by hand. that there we go a library card belonging to Helen Woodward how did it get here wires. are broken. The hinge on that handle should attach, but it's missing. not in place. The handle is not in place. holding with the wires. It doesn't fit below the beam. I should lower the pallet first.
The fuse box opener is locked in the old house in my duffel bag. The dragging stain again. of that dark corridor. Let's see if the light switch is working. Better. What the hell? She's... She's dead. address of this house. Was she invited here too? dark rooms. Why is everything always... Why is everything always locked?
15 July 2001. Subject. Final reminder letter. Dear Mr. Hopkin, This is to inform you that, according to our records, as of 12 July 2001, we still haven't received back the scaffolding or the three suspension ladders you borrowed from the Deirdre Construction Stores on 7 June of this year. Please return the scaffolding within 14 days upon receiving this letter. Should you choose to ignore this appeal, we will be passing this matter to a collection company, which will be obliged to forcibly remove the scaffolding from your possession. To cover any fees or penalties, incurred by such action will be your sole responsibility. Note, you will not receive any more reminder letters from us. Yours sincerely, Anna Catwell, Account Manager, Dare Drew Constructions Limited. Broken. This must be one of the three suspension ladders mentioned in the letter. Useful here? What's this? Ah, I believe this thing can open fuse boxes. These are already on. These are already on. Honey, if the circuit trips again, first turn on the RCD switch, the smallest one, and then the rest of them, the orange one last. Make sure you first hear a click after you turn the RCD on. It may take a couple of seconds, otherwise it will trip again. I need to take a look at this before we hand the keys over to the new owner.
RCD240. Test monthly. This switch looks important. RCD240. Test monthly. This switch looks important. is the way out. Jesus! Get away from me! There he is! This is Lightwater Police! Stay where you are! You're under arrest! Get down on your knees! But I didn't do anything! Get on your knees, now! You are under arrest! This is what happened. He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 he was there. He was the owner who called me. The former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. How could that be? This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. No, I... You found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. You. No one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body, huh? murdered that woman, but I'll guarantee you're never getting out. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. Well, that ended a little differently than expected. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and consider sub joining my channel as a member where you'll get to see unseen footage, shoutouts, and even sometimes play games with me. Have a great day everyone and stay safe.